The following video is brought to you by Ubisoft. Hey gang, it's Jesse, and this week I got to play a bunch of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. If you've seen my reaction to the Ubisoft Forward stream, you know I was hype to play some Vikings. Cause as we all know, we found that, you know, they were not mindless barbarians. Vikings were actually farmers trying to find new lands for them to settle. Maybe I haven't been a farmer ever before in my life, but I feel like farming has changed a lot over the years. So travel back with me to the 9th century, where Roman ruins stand next to mighty castles, and the Vikings are coming to tear it all down for farming. So of course, it's an Assassin's Creed game. I think we all know the staples of the franchise, but this time they've come out swinging with a bunch of new stuff. You play as Eivor, leader of your clan and total Viking badass. Coming from the lands of Norway, you're trying to find a new home for your people, and this leads you to the fractured kingdoms of England. And this is one of the many new features. You get to build a settlement, which is basically a quest hub. You have access to everything you need. Butchers, fishermen, armorsmiths, vendors, tattoo artists, it's important, you're a Viking, and so much more all of which can be upgraded as your town prospers. And it's not just the cosmetics of your armors or your look or your hair. You can stylize your town as you see fit too. Even though I didn't find a lot of them, I know there are many collectibles that you can proudly display in your streets of your town as you play the game. You can also style your Viking longship, change the crew looks, and even make custom raiders, which in this case, I have given two axes. Cause dual wielding is another feature and I think it is awesome. And before we move on to how you can afford all this upgrading and fancifying of your new settlement, uh, hint, it's a type of farming. I can't not mention the two mini games this time around. First, we have a dice game that if you know anything about me, you know that I somehow will have spent most of my playtime playing the dice game. It just happens that way. I love a good mini game, and this one is it. It's pretty simple. You roll some die with symbols, and each one does a thing. You can decide to hold them or re-roll up to three times. If a side has markings on the outer edge, it grants you a gold piece, which then you can use once you have enough of them to summon god powers on your enemy. First one to lose all their stones or life loses. It didn't take too long to understand, and once I did, I was in. I played it every chance I had. The next mini game, and what I assume is in a series of mini games designed just for me, <laughs> is totally ridiculous. Viking rap battles. Now, I assume it gets harder later in the game, but from the times I tried, it, either I'm a lyrical genius or it's pretty straightforward on how to win, but honestly, they are <laughs> just silly and super fun. You're a misfit, a halfwit, a foolish old grouse. You're a weakling, a milksop, a catcher, a louse. Brilliant. And uh, not too challenging side content. I will say that my favorite battle I had was against the dude who just had his own hype man. I'm the greatest of flighters, a master of verse. Cracked me up. It, it was great. It's basically just like an old time rhyming game where you have to match not only the rhyme, but also the cadence and the meaning. It, it was very clever. I guess it is actually based off a real thing that used to be done back in ye olden days, which I'm just gonna say, amazing, love it. Anyway, back to your settlement. How do you get all that awesome stuff and make your town look amazing? Well, there are two ways. The first is your standard AC style of exploring the countryside, calling your bird buddy, which this time around is a raven, how very mythological, and hunting down loot. There's plenty to explore, plenty to find, a lot of puzzles and different, how do I get that? And where's that thing located? And it says it's here, but it's under me? What does that mean? All that stuff. But thankfully they've crafted this beautiful English countryside to get lost in. And more importantly, there are no alligators and sharks popping up to jump scare me. So a uh, vast improvement. So yeah, without fear, I did a lot of exploring. I tend to get lost in open world games doing things I shouldn't do long before I start the story. 
And that happened here. But thankfully, the game let me know when I went a little too far off the beaten path. <laughs> the other way to bring home loot to your people is good old fashioned Viking raiding. You jump in your longship and sail up and down the rivers of England, looking for everything from small camps to churches to towns. You coast up alongside, you blow your horn, and farm, farm, farm. Once I got on my boat and into the water and I had my crew, and I raided everything I could find. It was genuinely a great time, and uh, my apologies to the people of Letta Chestershire. Speaking of Letta Chestershire, yeah, that's a mouthful. That's where most of the story I got to play takes place. From where do you come, if I may ask? North of the Danelands, a place called Funberg in Norway. I didn't know there was land north of there. What are the people like? You ever see a herd of sheep follow each other off the edge of a cliff? They're like that. In this bit of the game, Eivor has allied herself with Ivar and Uba Ragnarsson, and they intend to remove a local king and replace him with a more Viking-friendly model. Eivor, wolf kissed. You have come at just the right time. Uba and Eivor here are hunting a king. And when we caught him, we mean to crown another. If we take Tamworth, remove Burgred and crown Shailwolf, come morning this shire is ours. And Mercia soon after. Yes, remove. I cannot stress that enough. Burgred is not to be harmed. My legitimacy as king hangs on this one simple fact. Uh, you rob all the joy from war, Saxon. Which, of course, leads to another new feature of Valhalla, assaults, and in this case, assaulting a castle. You battering ram the front door, climb the wall, take out the archers, get strategic points, and then make your way further into the keep, taking buildings and treasure as you go. And more importantly, how you choose to go about doing all of it affects the story. In some cases, you may have to run down a stray royal or two. Do you understand what you're doing, Pagan? I am the Lady of Mercia. The story itself goes far beyond local politics, but I'm not going to spoil anything. All I'll say is I, I love the setting of this AC. And let's be real. They let me play a redhead Viking lady. Come on. This is this is just Jesse bait at this point. And it worked. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is out November 10th on literally everything. And if you get it on PS4 and Xbox One, you can upgrade it for free on your next gen console when you get it. So that's it for me. Thanks again to Ubisoft for uh, hooking me up. I hope you enjoyed this little quick look at Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I'm ready to jump back in and start my small organic farming community. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.